let us see a few more questions on uh, design and analysis of algorithms first is define mode what is a mode you know it comes in statistics uh, this mode so this is a value that occur often in a given list of number for example if this is a list if uh, you can see that this 5 is coming 1 2 3 4 times while 7 is coming 2 times so the maximum uh, time this 5 the frequency of 5 is highest so the mode of this list is 5 define rotation a rotation in an avial tree is a trans, uh, local transformation of its subtree rooted at a node which is performed when the balancing factor of a node becomes either plus 2 or minus 1. See, 0, minus 1 and 1 between the uh, node and the left and right subtree. If the difference uh, in the height is 0, minus 1, 1, it is okay. Otherwise, if it reaches 2 or minus 2, then they, this avial tree needs rotation or balancing, self-balancing. So, if an insertion or deletion of a new node in avial tree creates a tree with which uh, violates the balance requirement, this one, then the tree is restructured by performing special transformation called rotation that restore the balance required. What are the different types of rotations? Uh, we have right rotation, left rotation, double right left rotation and double left right rotation. These are all the possibilities of rotations in avial tree. What are the drawbacks of avial tree? Drawbacks of avial tree. We have uh, frequent rotations that are needed to maintain balances for the tree node and frequent rotation that means increase in the time and deletion is uh, difficult due to this frequent uh, frequency of rotations. Avial tree is not considered as a standard structure for implementing dictionaries just because this uh, various balancing which is required though this is a tree which uh, avoids the problem that happens in binary search tree but because of these uh, drawbacks they are not used in implementing the dictionaries. What is 2, 3, tree? 2, 3, tree. A 2, 3, tree is a tree. They have two kinds of nodes. They are two nodes and three nodes. A two node contains a single key and has two children. A three node contains two ordered key, K1 and K2, where K1 is less than K2 and it has three children. So this is 2, 3, tree. Define heap. Heap is again a partially ordered data structure. That is uh, suitable for, say, implementing priority queues. And this heap, do not confuse this heap with the heap memory uh, along with that stack memory. So, heap is a partially ordered data structure, especially for implementing priority queues. A heap is said to be max heap. There are two types of uh, max heap of min heap. So, a uh, heap is said to be max heap. Then the children of every node have a value less than that of the node. But if a tree is said to be min heap then the children of every node have a value which is greater than the node this is min heap what is a priority queue this priority queue is a data structure in which the intrinsic ordering of the element does determine the result of this basic operation uh, ascending and descending these are the two priority queues that are uh, there so priority queue is a simply a queue with some priority allocated to it define Warshall's algorithm Warshall algorithm this is an application of dynamic programming technique, Warshall algorithm, which is used to find the transitive closure of a directed graph. Warshall algorithm tried to be trying to find out the transitive closure of a directed graph. Then what is Floyd's algorithm? Again, it is an application which is used to find all the pairs shortest path problem. It is applicable to both directed and undirected weighted graph, but they do not contain a cycle of any negative length. Floyd algorithm. Prim's algorithm, what is Prim's algorithm? This is a gradient efficient algorithm which is employed to find the MST of a weighted connected graph. So, if you want to find a MST of weighted connected graph, we go for greedy and efficient algorithm. Then how efficient is Prim's algorithm? How efficient is Prim's algorithm? The efficiency of Prim's algorithm it depends on the data structure which is chosen for the graph. Define Kruskal's algorithm. Kruskal's algorithm. Again, uh, this is uh, like Prim's. This is another greedy algorithm for finding the MST. Kruskal algorithm construct MST by selecting edges in increasing order of their ways, provided that the inclusion does not create a cycle. Okay, and it provides an optimal solution. What is path compression? Path compression. You know, you can provide or you can achieve a better efficiency 
by combining either variation of quick union with path compression. This path compression make every node encountered during the execution of a fine operation points to the trees node. This is path compression. Now define Dijkstra's algorithm. This algorithm solves the single source shortest path problem of finding a shortest path from a given vertex to all the other vertices of a weighted graph or a digraph. So this provides a correct solution for a graph with non-negative weights. So if you want to find out the minimum or the minimum weighted path. Say from this is one path, this is second path to reach one point to another. Dijkstra algorithm solves it. What are Huffman trees? Define Huffman trees. This is a binary tree that minimizes the weighted path length from the root to the leaves, containing a set of predefined weights. So now we are talking about a weighted tree. The most uh, important application of Huffman tree is Huffman code, normally used in our compression algorithm. So what do you mean by Huffman code? This is an optimal prefix tree variable and coding scheme where we assign bit string to character based on their frequency in a given text. So if you have various numbers with, you know, they are going on and uh, they are repeating. So what we do is if there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, say 6, 6 values, which uh, 6 si single value which is repeating, we replace this by 6, the frequency. What is meant by compression ratio? Huffman code achieved this compression ratio as I just suggested, which is a standard measure of compression algorithm. It is effectiveness of like this. Say uh, you have some value, say 3, and the value which is achieved is like this. So um, say it was uh, 3 earlier, it became 2.25. So 3 minus uh, 2.25 by 3 the original into 100, and this becomes 25%. This is how we achieve the compression ratio. This, this is just an example, you know. Advantage of Huffman encoding, what is the advantage? First of all, it is a compression method, most important compression method, quite simple, versatile, and it provides optimal and minimum length encoding, MLE. What is dynamic Huffman coding? In a dynamic Huffman encoding, the coding tree is updated each time a new character is read from the source text. So every time a new character is uh, re means uh, achieved, or is inserted, then again we check for the Huffman encoding, we change the Huffman encoding. So the Huffman encoding is used to overcome the drawbacks of this simplest version uh, which we just saw with dynamic Huffman encoding. What do we mean by optimal solution? If you have a problem with n inputs, we obtain a subset that satisfies some constraints. So there, need, there needs to be some inputs on which work on certain constraints. So any subset that satisfies these constraints, they are, these are called feasible solutions, right? But a feasible solution, all these are feasible solutions, there can be various feasible solutions, which either maximizes or minimizes a given objective function is called an optimal solution. Define backtracking. Depth first node generation with bonding function is called backtracking. Depth first node generation with bonding function is backtracking. So the backtracking algorithm has uh, its virtue, the ability to yield the answer with a far fewer uh, trials. That is why. We use backtracking. What is Hamiltonian cycle in an undirected graph? Hamiltonian cycle. This uh, cycle is a round trip along n edges of G that visits every vertex at least once and returns to its starting position. This is Hamiltonian cycle. What is feasible solution? As I just said, that you have n in inputs. So we have uh, some constraints also. So subsets, those satisfy these constraints on these inputs, they are feasible solution. So it is obtained based on some constraints. What is optimal solution? We have just seen optimal solution. We have various feasible solution. So these feasible solution on some in, in inputs uh, with the certain constraints, this feasible solution which maximizes or minimizes a given objective function, we call it as an uh, objective, uh, means uh, optimal solution and which is based on cer certain objective function. This is the application of backtracking. Backtracking can be used to solve eight queens problem. Good application of knapsack problem, knapsack. This is a problem which is, uh, you know, uh, combi combinatorial optimization technique actually you can say. So it derives its name from the maximum maximum problem of choosing a possible essential that can fit into one bag to be carried on a trip. So a simple problem uh, very often appears like in business, combated, combinatory, complexity theory or cartography, or cartography sorry, and applied mathematics. Define subset sum problem. What is subset sum problem? This is a problem which is used to find a subset of a given set, say S, which contains of SN, S1 to SN, of n positive integers 
ஒரு <laughs> just for instance uh, going to the nearest uh, you know unvisited uh, visited city in the traveling salesman problem can be a good heuristic you can apply heuristics here what is the concept of branch and bound method branch and bound this method refers to the to all state space search method in which all children of the e node are generated before any other live node can be can become this e node This is branch and bound method. So, uh, give the upper bound and lower bound of matrix multiplication algorithm. Upper bound, the given algorithm does have n into n into n multiplication and at most you have n q multiplication are, which are necessary. While in a lower bound, it can be proved in the literature that at least n by n multiplication they are necessary. This is what we call as lower bound of matrix multiplication. What is state space tree? backtracking and branch and bound problem they are based on the construction of state space tree whose node reflects specific choices made for a solutions component so its root represent the initial state before the search of the solution may begin so the node of the first level in the tree it represent the choices made for the first component of solution and the nodes of the second level represent the choices for the second component and it goes uh, on this is state space tree what is promising and non promising node as we have seen the state space tree a node in a state space tree is said to be promising if it corresponds to a partially constructed solution that may still lead to a complete solution otherwise the node is called non promising what are the additional items that are required for branch and bound which is compared to uh, this back tracking uh, technique so compared to our back tracking technique branch and bound require two additional items what are they first is a way to provide for each node of uh, every node of a node of a state space tree a bound on the best value of the objective function on any solution that can be obtained by adding further components to the partial solution represented by the node first is this requirement the second is the value of the best solution seen so far differentiate between this backtracking and bound branch and bound techniques backtracking is applicable to non optimization problem so backtracking generates state space tree in depth first manner while this branch and bound is applicable only to optimization problem branch and bound generates a node of state space tree using our best first rule what is called uh, what is called all pair shortest path problem if you have provided a weighted connected graph then all pair shortest path problem is just to find the distances of each vertex to all other vertices this is shortest path problem all pair 16 is what do you say a tree as msd when do you say it is msd the spanning tree is said, said to be ms tree when when the weight of the spanning tree is smallest well weight of tree is defined as the sum of weight of all its edges how will you construct an optimal binary search tree bst you know uh, we know that bst is an important data structure in computer sciences its principal application are to implement a dictionary bst so a set of elements with the operations of searching insertion and deletion in dictionary So, if probabilities of searching for elements of a set are known as optimal binary search tree, for which the average number of comparison in a search is smallest as possible, this is how we construct a optimary optimal binary search tree. What is the runtime of shortest path algorithm? This is theta n plus e log n. What is mathematical modeling? This is a method of experience. Ex- pressing or presenting a problem in terms of purely mathematical objects such as variables functions and equations what is pre structure pre structure it is a technique that exploits space for time trade offs simply using some extra space for facilities faster and, uh, and more flexible access to data define heap sort heap sort is a as a sorting algorithm so it is a two stage algorithm first we construct the heap so we construct a heap for a given array of element then there will be maximum deletion means we apply a root deletion operation and minus 1 times to the remaining heap so we can have min heap and max heap every time and we will just take out the root that will be the maximum or minimum value so uh, 
we solve few questions and uh, i hope that uh, those questions these are important questions so you should study about say bounce and bound and um, you know mst and uh, backtracking and uh, divide and conquer etc thank you so much take care